Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today we're back for episode 6 of Forza Horizon 5. We're gonna hop into the house real quick here because we have a job to do today. Now that job is, we are gonna be going and looking for several barn finds in Forza Horizon 5. Now if you're unfamiliar with a barn find, Basically, it's an area that gets marked on the map, and somewhere within that area, there's a barn that has a rare old car that has been abandoned that you can then go and find and take for yourself. Kind of sounds like theft to me, but you know what? We'll let it slide. Anyway, so a lot of these barns are in the middle of nowhere, and most of them are actually off-road. So today, I figured it's time to buy an off-road vehicle to go and find these things. So we're gonna look in the auto show and see if we can actually find any cool off-road vehicles that we can buy and take out to go and do this. Of course, there is the Warthog right here, as you guys can see from Halo. That would be a pretty cool vehicle. However, I have something in mind. I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna do it or not though, but uh, we're gonna look nonetheless. Um, so we're just gonna scroll through here unless you know something else catches my mind. I do have a truck in mind, uh, if nothing else that we come across. Um, really stands out to me. So this is that we do have this F-150 pre-runner by Deberti Designs. That's pretty cool, but don't really don't really think we want that. Uh, there's a, there's also the Durango SRT. That's kind of neat. Um, and then we have Ford. Now what I was planning on looking at was this thing, the uh, F-450. Now I'm tempted to actually just take a look at this thing because I have seen some videos of it and I know what you can do with this thing. Not sure if you guys know what you can do, but I know what we can do with this. So I'm almost thinking we should go for it. It's a diesel, it's a dually, should be a pretty good off-road machine, I would think. You know what, let's do it. Let's take it out. We're going to buy it in this nice blue color, uh, $70,000. Not that bad, honestly. So we got a new Ford F450. That's pretty solid. Let's take it into the garage and uh, do some upgrades. I've heard some things about this truck. Okay, yeah. I have heard that there is a motor swap that you can do with this truck, and that motor swap would be the 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo. As you guys can see, that increases the horsepower on this truck to 1,750. So I'm kind of tempted to try this out. I think we should do it. But at the same time, I really like the 6.7 power stroke. I think it's a really cool engine. Do we really have the choice though? I mean, we gotta go with this. I mean, it's it's 1,750 horsepower. Like that's pretty ridiculous. So we're gonna just go for that. Um, I'm actually gonna install probably some off-road race tires on this thing. And we're gonna widen up the tires uh, quite a bit here too. Uh, for the rears, we can go 460s. That should, that should be pretty nice. Um, the rims that are already on this thing Honestly, the stock rims can stay, I think, because I don't even know what to, like, think about picking for a truck. So I'm just going to leave the stock rims. It's fine. We have some lights that we can add to this thing. I think we should do that. That looks pretty cool. We can also add a wing, um, or in place of a wing, just that. We're going to leave the, the regular box, I think, though. Uh, the drivetrain, let's put a faster transmission into this thing, that's for sure. Um, it already has a 10 speed by default, so we're going to leave that because um, that's that's good enough. Put a rally diff in it, I guess. I, do, I, don't, I don't really know what to do, honestly, but yeah, we'll do that. Um, we'll definitely increase the uh, the brakes here, too. We'll upgrade those and we'll also add rally springs to it as well. Um, Anti-roll bars are a must, I feel like. Definitely, we want to do a weight reduction, too, so we can reduce this thing by 2100 pounds. That's kind of insane. Let's do that. And overall, I think I think we're done here. It's going to cost us 117 grand to upgrade this thing. Um, that's quite a lot. So, okay, let's do it. Why not? There we go. That's more like it. This thing is looking really, really good. I like that a lot. Okay, so now that we have our truck ready to go, I think it's time to start looking for these barn finds. Oh my god, this thing is big. And it's fast, too. Oh, that engine sounds crazy. This thing does not feel like a 6,000 pound vehicle, I gotta say. Um, okay, so we got, yeah, we got a ton of barn finds to do here. So we got one here, got one right beside us, three, four, five, six, 
We got six of these things, seven of these things to do, guys. So we got a lot of work to do. Um, I'm going to head for this one first because it's the closest, obviously. So why not start there? I want to show you guys how this truck launches. Look at this. This thing's insane. What the hell? I, I got to say I like the truck a lot, though. It's, it's pretty sick. So usually with these barn finds, what I like to do is start kind of on the edge and just see if we can see anywhere that it might be. I actually think I see it already. I think, is that it right there? Is this a barn? I feel like this is one of them. Yeah. Wow, okay, well that didn't take very long. I wonder what it is though, let's find out. Is that a Dodge Dart? 25 brake horsepower hemi engine and the scraps of a dodge dart let's get it back to the garage I dodge dart wow i was pretty i was pretty good i may or may not have already known what one of the cars was but uh it was a pretty good guess i feel like okay so they're gonna call me when uh, when that's ready um we got this other barn find right here though so i guess we'll just speed on over there and just get that one done too um might as well kind of overshot the road there oops let's see if we can find this barn um there is a road that goes down here so maybe we'll follow that maybe we'll come across the barn pretty easily here that first one was a breeze that that like doesn't usually happen that often although i am like i'm, I'm okay at finding these things i feel like so oh i see the barn it's right there wow okay wow okay well that was that was very quick i'm not gonna lie See what's in here. Uh oh, an old Jimmy. The Oscar said he was a Chevy Blazer, but that's only because he thought it sounded better. I'll call in some transport. Okay, cool. That's a pretty cool find. Next up, we got this one over here. I'm gonna assume it's not by like all the roads and stuff. Oh, I think I see it. Is it over here? I think I see it right there, right in front of us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh my god. Help me get out of here. That's sick. An F40? I like that. Oh man, that thing's dirty. Literally and figuratively. That is sick. I didn't know there was an F40 that you could get. That's that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure these aren't in like any specific order. I think it's completely random. So we're gonna head over to this one now and then we'll go Yeah, we'll do this one next. Then this one, then we'll go up the mountain again. And uh, actually, you know what? We'll go up to the off-road side of the mountain this time. Um, and I'll show you guys that. So let's head to this next one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got, it looks like a pretty open field here. Should be able to make some uh, some pretty good ground. All right, let's see if we can spot this thing. Is this it? Yep, this is it. <laughs> Dang, I'm getting kind of good at this. Or maybe they're just not very well hidden. Oh, it's daytime all of a sudden. Wow. wow. Old Corvette? That is a piece of history. 53? Yeah. Very early, might be 1953. I wonder if she got that information the same way that I did. Okay, another one down. We're, ju we're just gunning these things down. This is crazy. Okay. Well, maybe that's not the right terminology to use there, but uh, close enough. Now, let's see if we can spot this next one. I think I see it. I think it's straight ahead of me, right over here. This one actually might be a little bit more challenging. Okay, well, it's not over here, so it's got to be on the other side of the circle. So it's probably like straight this way. Or that's it right there on the left, but I don't think it is. Let's drive up in case. No, that's not it. Oh, that's it right there. Okay. Wow, this is uh, it's going a lot faster than I was honestly expecting, boys. Let's see what's in here. It's daytime again. Wow. Old Ford? Or Chevy? Yeah. Let's take you back. That thing's pretty sick. Another one bites the dust. 
barn is somewhere in this area. Now this one might be a little more challenging to find because the terrain is a little bit steeper around here, so it's actually going to be a bit harder to see. Or maybe it's not, because I'm pretty sure that's the barn literally right there. Bro, come on. <laughs> oh my lord. It's a Mustang. Okay. Oh, talk about famous okay. Cars. This is the one from... Ah... Uh... What's that movie Bullet. Uh, hang on, it'll come to me. Bullet. That is really cool. That or the F40 are probably my favorite cars that we've uh, that we've actually got out of these barn finds. Man, these barn finds are like I I'm kind of shocked because they're they're like very easy to find. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just good at this or something, but these don't seem very well hidden, unfortunately. So I thought this was going to be a little bit more of an adventure. Um, but I, I, I guess not, boys, so apologies for that. Alright, boys, we're approaching the mountain here. We gotta go all the way around to the other side of it, though, because we're gonna be going up the, uh, the dirt side, um, of the mountain. And we'll probably also, while we're up there, we'll probably explore the volcano, too, because this episode has gone by a lot faster than I was anticipating it to, because I thought that the barn finds were actually gonna be a bit of a challenge to find, but apparently not. So, we're gonna also go and take a look at the volcano. So, I figured that, you know, should make it a little bit more interesting. Do you ever just go 190 miles per hour in your F450 Super Duty Dually? Oh, we have a new barn find. Bro, are you serious? We were just... <laughs> we are just there. Come on, bro. Just got a new barn find rumor. Oh my god. Okay, we'll go back and do that one after. This thing is, uh, is a, bit, a bit quick, I gotta say. This is a little more like the F450's uh, territory. I kind of like this. Okay, and then from here... Okay, so we go to the right from here, and then uh, we'll start ascending the mountain uh, with the uh, the dirt track. So I wonder what's going to take longer, the uh, paved road or the dirt road? I'm interested to see. I actually just went up the paved road before I started recording this episode, so um, I guess we'll I guess we'll see. This thing does have a lot more horsepower than the uh, than the last car that I used to actually get up there, so wouldn't exactly surprise me if this was actually quicker. Is this a drift zone? Oh my god, this must be sketchy as hell to do. We're gonna have to try this out when we do the uh, when we do the drift zone for the um, for the other side too. Have to try both of them. So this one we're gonna definitely need like a four-wheel drive rally car so we'll uh, we'll have to build one of those and build a drift car so that should be uh, that should be fun I think we're gonna do that next episode so this way feels longer than the other way maybe it's just because I'm not going as fast or something but what are those homies doing right there literally like on the side of the mountain I guess this I guess this is technically the barn find area so we're gonna have to come back down and do it but I definitely just want to go all the way to the top of the mountain first and uh look at the volcano and then we'll come back and uh do the barn find and then go do the other barn find too man this thing's fast holy yo oh another xp sign let's go are we are we at the top here oh um you can go two ways to do this let's go to the left because i've already kind of been over on the right so should be a little more exciting if we go to the left i think Holy. Oh, we got a another speed trap here. Stars across all speed traps. Was that was that three star? Oh no. That was only a two star. Oh my god, there's a danger sign here. Oh oh yo, this is sick. Oh. Oh. Guy just passed me in a C eight on this road. That's crazy. Hold on now. Is huge. Hold on. I'm going to go into photo mode so we can actually get a better look at this thing. Oh my god. That's crazy. That thing is massive. Yo, let's uh, let's just drive around this thing real quick. I want to see see if we can get a better better angle here. Oh, is there is there XP sign here? Hold on. Don't mind if I do. Where, where the hell is it? Oh god, I'm blind. Man, they could uh, they could take this video and use it as a Ford commercial. This is this is kind of sick. All right, let's see what the volcano looks like now, because that's that's our next stop here. So, oh, this is this is kind of sick looking. All right, 
Oh, is this not the volcano? Wait, what? I thought the volcano was right here. Oh, it must be up on the top of the hill. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go to the top of the hill then, I think. Oh, yes, okay, this goes back to where we've already driven up the mountain before in the last episode. Then this goes all the way around the edge. Oh, man, that's that would be a jump and a half off of there. There's another XP ward, nice. Oh, yikes. Oh, well, I cleaned the truck. Okay, time to go up the mountain, boys. Let's see. Let's see where this volcano's at. Pretty sure it's up here. Unless I'm completely losing my mind. <coughs> um. Oh, man. Okay. I don't see any lava up here. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Alright, F450. Okay, I see you. Okay, there is no lava up here, though. That is the only problem. Oh, and I... Mm. I was gonna say, I think we're stuck. Um, where's the lava? I'm confused. I'm, I'm like, I swear in like a trailer or something, there's actually lava up here, right? Am I, or am I losing my mind? I don't know where the lava is. What? I could have sworn there's supposed to be lava here. Maybe it's only in a certain season or something. Because I swear it was like supposed to be right here where this lake is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, maybe it's only in a certain season then, because I, I swear, like, I'm not, like, losing my mind. So, we're gonna go back down, I guess, towards where the barn find is. So, here we are. Now, the barn is not over here, so I'm thinking it must be down here somewhere, and I think I already see it right in front of us. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, 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 hey, 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 chill, chill. Yeah, I think this is the barn right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is, okay. Icar, Ford Escort, it has to be. Oh. Less than a quarter of the field made it to the finish line in Mexico City, but five out of the top ten were these things. That's how it got the name. Oh, that's cool. A little Ford Escort. I, I like it. I like it. We have to go to this barn find now, again. So, I'm thinking we're gonna jump off the mountain. Like, on this side, though. So, let's go back up. Um, assuming we can make it. I think we can. I know that 450 thinks it can, and I, I believe in it fully, so let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, this is a bit impressive. Yeah, okay, the F-450 doesn't really care about gravity, so that's cool. I'm gonna find the most tactical, like, route. I think it's gonna be if we jump off here. Go down here. Or maybe if we just go straight off the end right here. I think we're gonna do that. That seems like the most logical approach to me. Alright, here, let's line this thing up. Uh, that's just lined up enough, I guess. And off the end we go. Let's see. Build up some speed here. See how far we can get. Here we go, boys. Hey, yo. Oh my god. That was insane. Okay. And we're, we're here now. Honestly, it didn't jump as far as I was kind of hoping, but uh, let's let's backtrack a little bit here, and then we'll, uh, we'll jump again. Here we go. And off we go. Oh, yo. Yo. Okay, 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 all right. Oh, that was sick. Man, the mountain is huge in this game. Like, you can literally jump so far. If if you get the right, like, angle and everything, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's... Mm, that would be hard on the box, I feel like. 
I feel like everything we've done with this truck today would probably be pretty hard on the truck, to be honest, I guess. Um, alright, let's see if we can find this last barn find, and then we'll, we'll probably call the episode there, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and search up here first of all, because, you never know, I might try to sneak this thing in here. No, not in here. I don't think. Oh, there it is right there. I feel like the barn finds were harder in the previous games. I really do. Too old to be made in Mexico, though. We should take it to the taller so I can get a better look. I think it's the... Or the 2002? That thing's sick, though. That's a sick car, if it's if it's what I'm thinking of. Oh, it's the 2002 Turbo. That's right. That car's sick. These barn finds are, uh... Not exactly very challenging, so that kind of sucks, honestly, but um, I'm glad we were able to find them, like, kind of quickly, I guess, at the same time, like, instead of them being too hard. Um, kind of wish they were a little bit more of a challenge than just, like, literally going to the barn find location and just, like, finding it every time, but I guess... Well guys, like I said, I guess that's going to be the end of it for this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know of course in the comments down below. What did you think of the F450 Dually? I really like this thing. I think that that was pretty awesome. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.